Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Daniel, Aidan, and Aníbal. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. So, hey, you know, right? So if you can activate your camera, that would be fantastic, okay? So let us wait a little bit for the rest. Thank you, Daniel. So that at least is just getting into the class now. Okay, good evening, Veralis. Good to see you here. Okay, great. Let us wait a little bit. How's everything, uh, Daniel? Hello. How's everything? Como, como está todo? How's everything? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Very good. Yes. So I can see. Oh my goodness. So Veronica. Okay. Okay, Aníbal, I got your message and also about Veronica. Veronica and Aníbal. Aníbal will be as a listener. Okay. So give me a second. I will check the list of attendance. It's eight o'clock. So you know the first thing we do is to check list of attendance. Then we continue. We start with the class. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> give me a second. Okay, now yes. Good evening, Veronice. Hello, Claudia. Evening. Hello, good evening. How's everything? Okay, meanwhile, meanwhile, checklist attendance. Claudia says, good evening, everyone. I'm at work and I will be as a listener. Okay, Claudia, I got it. Claudia will uh, stay as a listener. Okay, meanwhile, I check list attendance. I only have two, four, five, six, seven people. Uh, do me the favor to think about uh, about the expression that you have been studying during the day, right? So I will get back so that you can uh, let us know about what you have learned during the day, okay? And also, at least will be as a listener also, okay? So I will try to remember. Okay, and uh, hey, what's going on with, oh yeah, I got it. Well, think about the expression you will teach to everyone. Hey. I hope we're not gonna have any problem with the internet. Okay. Well, you know, after sharing <clears throat> the expression with everybody, you are going to share also different different problems you may face uh, at work, okay? Remember that was a homework assignment. Now, yes, I, good evening. Now, yes, I got list attendance. I don't know, but it's not working well tonight. No sé qué le pasa, pero no me está funcionando bien. Okay, let me see. Well, we're gonna start with the class.
Yeah, it's because I cannot start with the list attendance. Okay, so I will check list attendance later. Okay, good evening, uh, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Hey, something I like about this group is that the the record or or in the scores that you are just getting in the activities are great. So yes, now I, I, I it's possible for me to check list the thing. That's Aidan. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Belen. Claudia. I know Veronica is there, right? She's also a listener. Daniel. Present, teacher. Good, Daniel. Uh, Maribel, Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan Josué, present teacher. Good, Maria Elba, present teacher. Excellent, Maria. Uh, Mario Cristobal. Present. Okay, Mario, thank you. Berenice. Present teacher. Good. Michael. Present. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. Aníbal. Aníbal, are you there? Well, I don't, ah, well, Aníbal. I think Aníbal will be as a listener tonight. Well, we'll check it later. Uh, Norma Xiomara. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Ronan. Teresa. And Vera Liz. Okay, it's the first time I check list attendance. Now, hey, hopefully we're not gonna have any problem tonight because was difficult for me to check list attendance now. I don't know if it is my internet or I wonder what's happening tonight, but I hope we're not gonna face any problem with uh, internet connection. Otherwise I will go to the IT, right? <laughs> 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 well, ah, Neil says present and also Gladys and Maribel, okay. I will check it later. I will check it later. Now it's it's very difficult for me to to work in the in the list attendance. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, Rona will be as a listener tonight. Okay, so if if I ask you to participate in in and you are uh, you are uh, as a listener in the class, so don't don't worry. Okay, so just um. Skip my question and let's try to continue. Okay. Uh, tonight we're gonna uh, work. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, now, sorry, but my internet's very slow now. Okay, now I will start. I'm sorry, it's been like, it's seven minutes, eight minutes after um, eight, and we need to start. Okay, so we're gonna try to do our best as we usually do it. Okay, and now let's get down to business. Now, tonight, Can you see, can you see people? Can you see the info in the platform? Está no. compartiendo pantalla. Está yeah, cargando. It... Ah, ahora sí. Ah, okay. Yeah, so can you see now my internet is very slow. Ojalá que no nos va a afectar, okay. Porque si veo que como que está un poco lento, me costó pasar la lista. Okay, but anyways. Here we go. 
Okay, now this is a topic. The top yesterday we were talking about ways to uh, report a problem, right? Yeah, ways, ways to report a problem. That's what we were studying yesterday. Do you remember about it? Yes. Yeah, now which are some ways to report a problem, people? Some expression that we learned yesterday. Internet access, a virus, a uh, stock in printer. Um, Internet connection, like the one we are having now. <laughs> Crossing the one. screen. Yeah. Crossing so, screen, yes. Yeah, the frozen screen. Excel, uh, right? So, uh huh. Signal low. Low signal. Okay. Low sign. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Low so this signal. this is this was uh -huh. the information we were talking just talking about yesterday, right? Uh, yesterday also solved the exercise, so we're not gonna go over it again. <clears throat> but the, what the topic that we are in in church of. Uh, working tonight is about how to use would like, okay? Would like. That is our topic, okay? So yesterday we were like, uh, in the conversation, we, we saw some expression in which uh, people use the expression would like. So that's why I have decided to go over the exercise over here. But we're not going to solve it now. So you are going to tell me just the one that you consider is, is correct. For example, uh, over here I have three three expressions. Okay, so you tell me, tell me what is the expression that is correct for you? First expression, she'd like to drink in coffee. To she drink. No, like... Like, second, second, second. She'd like to drink coffee. Okay, do you agree, people? Yeah. yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna check it. You see, my internet is, I think it's my internet, the one that's failing tonight. In the second one, what is the best option for you? Or, I mean, what is the correct one? Because over here we don't have best option, we have correct or incorrect. I like to report a problem. So, the first one, yes. I would to like to report a problem. Mm -hmm. what, the, what do you think, people? I would I would to like to report a I, problem. No, uh, I there, would I, like I, I to I report like. a problem. Yeah, but first, second, or third, then? Third. 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 So I think it's in a contracted form, right? I like to report a problem. Number three. What is the best option? The correct option. The second, they would like to join us. They would like, like to join us. They would like to join us. Okay. And the, I think number four, exercise four. Would you like to go? Would you like to go the first? Would you, okay. like to... Would you like to go and the last one? They would like to speak to the supervisor. They would like to speak to the supervisor. Okay, now stop sharing. Tal vez se me regula mi internet en un par de minutos. Mientras tanto, vamos a revisar la tarea, okay? Uh, well, let me see. Uh, well, since since well, I I need volunteers. Okay, volunteers. At least five volunteers. Okay, so we we're not gonna spend the whole hour by by checking the homework. Okay, but I need to listen to for at least five people. Necesito por lo menos escuchar a cinco personas. Okay. 
voluntarias. At least five people, okay? Uh, thank you, Michael. Go ahead. There is a problem with my credit card. And tell me what the problem is. A charge came up on my bill that I didn't make. What was the charge for? The charge was for uh, 350 first about, about I did not buy it. Are you sure that you didn't make that purchase? I would like know if I bought something that's expensive. I apologize what they what this purchase made. And it was bought on November twelfth at uh, 3 15 p.m. Why I was at work? All right. Well, do an investigation. Until this investigation is finished, will I have to pay for the charge? No, you don't. Well, take care of it. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Michael. Great job. Uh, you chose to investigate the conversation and that was quite good. Okay? It was quite good. First participant. Second participant. I need five. I told you, right? Five. In order to continue. I need to continue, but I need to listen to five people. Uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you. You're very kind. No, so, no Maria didn't say anything. Hola. Right? Yeah, Maria, are you ready with the homework? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Bueno, yo lo entendí medio ayer porque estuve como oyente. Eh, sería así como un problema, ¿verdad? De, de, y buscar como una solución. Algo así la entendí, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ah, ok. Vaya, eh, sería como una conversación. Eh, digamos, hi, Pedro. I have problem with my computer. How can I help you? My computer is turning off and on every moment. Can you give me the PC number? Yes, of course. It's the one two two five C two. Cool. Do you accept me to enter your computer remotely? Yes, of course. I will be waiting. You can read again, it is working. Tell me what is up because it's turning off and on. I only had update problems. Oh, okay, thank you very much for helping me. Have a night and afternoon. Thank you, the same. Okay, Finished. thank you, Mary. You also chose uh, for for, for looking to for looking for a, a conversation that was quite good okay i will provide some some observations at the end but that was fantastic second person right I need three more okay number three participant number three volunteer now when i say volunteer everybody will be like hey teacher me 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 I got ready, now I want to participate. This is my opportunity to show uh, that I'm improving, that I'm doing my best. Now, participant number three, I need, I need five. Okay, let, I will try, I will pick, I will choose some people then. Jonathan? Sorry, teacher. You're having to eat your dinner, 
Ayer eh, estuve escuchando un poco la clase, pero realmente estos días he estado un poco, bueno, en el trabajo han habido muchos cambios, entonces he estado un poco corto de tiempo, más cansado y toda la cuestión. Usted ha visto el, el que he bajado un poco, creo, y, pero creo que me voy a reponer. Eh, sí, realmente no, no he hecho la tarea, creo que le he fallado algunas veces, pero voy a tratar de ponerme al día. Okay. Sí, ayer estuve un poco enfermo, no pude estar presente completamente. Okay, okay, Jonathan, don't worry. Just thank, thank for letting me know about it. Okay, so I need, well, at least two volunteers more, okay, so that we can continue with the class, people. Okay, two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers. Say me, me, teacher. I need two volunteers, only two more. I need to listen to two people more. Well, let me see. Veronica, did you do the homework? Hi, teacher. Bueno, eh, con Daniel estuvimos haciendo una conversación entre de lo mismo que fue ayer, pero la introducimos más. Uh, okay. No, but, uh, one question. Why did you didn't say, me, teacher, I'm ready? So... <laughs> So that would be fantastic para, para aprovechar el tiempo, okay? Daniel and Berenice, here we go. Okay. <laughs> La, the first conversation, Berenice. Okay, está bien. Okay. Usted empieza yes. entonces, man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good evening, can I help you? Please help me. I'd like to report a problem. Okay, I understand you. What is your problem? I don't have internet access. I don't know what to do. Are you checking your connection? Yes, my computer is connected. Okay, I understand. How long do you have this problem? I don't have access a few hours ago. Is the Wi-Fi box on? Yes, my Wi-Fi box is on. Okay, I understand. Well, uh, send a technical technician to check your connection. Please wait. How long will it take to come? And um, well, the technician will take approximately me uh, half an hour to arrive. Oh, great! I'll be waiting. Thank you for calling Technician Support. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right. So the, okay. Today, you, you sound, your conversation sounds better. And your transition is, you know, I, I, I really like the way you are uh, improving. Well, uh, some pieces of advice. And I will continue saying uh, the same, right? So, when you go through a conversation um, to a, a home board, and then you get some vocabulary, vocabulary you, you, you need to check uh, pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation is quite important when you speak. Now, fluency is being, it's, uh, it's getting better, okay? It's getting better, pronunciation also, and now, well, we're gonna go over The conversations we were practicing yesterday, right? So because I told you that today we're gonna I think I think those are the ones that you were practicing, right, Daniel and, and Berenice. Is this the one that you were practicing, uh, Daniel and Berenice? The first one, the second one, or the third one, or or it's or it was a different one. Mm. 
No, esa sí no practiqué esas conversaciones. This de... one, you didn't practice this conversation, right? right. So, well, uh, I told you to practice convers these conversations because it's important, right? So okay. if we if we got if we, if you see the information with a good, just let me know it, okay? Because well, I, I don't think we are gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna see it, but we have for example Ken. We we are going to study this info soon. Okay, also we're gonna study about um could can could and also would and should right so well we're gonna listen to it so that we can we can get into we, we can get some examples okay and practice or, or have some review and pronunciations okay pronunciation here we go i need somebody to come over and fix my internet what's wrong with it for some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. Okay, so the expression that we got over here is about could. We're not studying about that tonight. Don't worry. Okay? But I'm telling you in advance. We're going to study it. I think it will be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But we're going to study about it. Okay? Second activity. Or second conversation. I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come up at all? It just won't connect to a web page, but it will pop up. There's obviously a problem with your connection. I'm going to need someone to come and fix it for me. I can send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them to get here? They'll be there in about an hour. We're going we're going to have some reviews about the, the model can. Okay, of course, we're not going to go deeply with the information about it. But we're going to study some something about it. Can you send someone to fix my internet? Are you having a problem with it? My internet is having problems connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been messing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even pop up? It'll pop up, but it won't connect to a web page. Since the internet isn't broken, your connection must be messed up. Do you think you could send somebody over to fix it? If you'd like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be till they get here? It should be no longer than an hour. <laughs> okay, so the only expression we encounter with good is this one, right? If you like, and this is the expression that we are starting tonight, tonight, okay? You would like, okay? So that is the expression we're going to study tonight. Okay, now remember you need to keep studying, you need to keep practicing pr uh, conversations, pronunciation, okay? And it will be all right. So I will ask two people to help me with the second one. Yesterday we were we were practicing th this one. Okay, so we're going to go over this second one tonight. I need two, two people, two people over here. Volunteers? Okay, Julio. Ah, I... Hey, okay, Daniel. Okay, yeah. what about little B? Michael? Green, mm, yes. Okay, so okay. here we go. I need to get my internet fixed. What's happened with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This problem has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come up at all it just won't connect to a web page but it will put up uh, there is obviously a problem with your connection i'm going to need someone to come and fix it for me 
can I send somebody? Can I send somebody right now to fix it? How long will it take for them to get here? They'll be there in about an hour. For about an hour, good. Uh, just, uh, uh, Daniel, don't forget that this, the precision of this verb is get. 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 And get. this one is fixed. 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 I need to get, get. my internet fixed. Thank fixed. you, very good. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that fine. was good. Okay, so I need two more people so that we can move on to the next part. Okay, two people more. Two more people for the next part. I just want to check the way you have been practicing. Bueno, yo teacher. Thank you very much. Who said me? Your, your teacher. Oh, okay, so, okay. Siempre la primera, bro. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Can you say someone to fix my internet? Are uh, you having a problem with it? My internet is having a problem connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been missing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even put up? It's put up, but it won't connect it, uh, connect it to a web page. And the internet is broken. Your connection must be missed. Uh, do you think you can send somebody over to fix it? If you like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be till they are here? Here. It should be no longer than an hour. Okay, very good. It should be no longer than an hour. Should, should. Remember, get here, get. Web page. Web page. Web page. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, right? So I can see you improving, right? Pretty good. So this is this was the second part. Hey, I share a link about a, a, a video. Okay. So that that is a homework, and I will let you know what to do with it now. Okay. Uh I will display the video because you know we may face some problems with you too okay so that's why i decided to share the link in the in the in the whatsapp group so what are you going to do you're going to get the script this is tarea para mañana el video el, el enlace que yo compartí en el en whatsapp es para que obtengan el el script de lo que las personas están hablando okay les recomiendo que primero lo escuchen luego Van escribiendo lo que comprenden y por último, por último, pues que le coloquen el, eh, el, el title en inglés, ¿ok? Eh, de esa manera va a ser muy efectiva su práctica. Pero a, ahora no lo vamos a trabajar. Eso lo voy a pedir eh, que nos lo digan mañana, ¿ok? Now. Okay, now we're gonna work in the PDF. Tú creas a la generación que cambiará el mundo. Baby say. Well, are we closer? I think it's better. Okay, now yes. Okay, uh Okay, this info is information that we were studying. Uh 
in previous days, right? So present continuous, different ways to use it, right? The way we create present continuous statements and so on, right? So, but right now, uh, well, yesterday, we were talking about D, how to report the problem, right? So it will, it will be pretty nice if you just remember how to report a problem, right? One a option is to use, I would like, I would like, okay? So that is the expression that we are going to, to, to study tonight. So yesterday you were working in this part on how to report problems you may face at work. Okay, and over here, so we get to some ways to report the problem. So there are some more ways, okay, to report a problem. These are some common issues. This is These are the ways to report. So the first one, or first expression, I would like to report a problem. Okay, I would like to report an issue. I have a, pro a trouble with... So those are three expressions more for you to report the problem. The problem itself may be, hey, it doesn't seem to work. The, the, the laptop doesn't seem to work. Uh, the computer makes a strange or, or a funny noise. Or oh, uh, the, the laptop doesn't turn down. So we were working in this part also yesterday, actually, you were in charge of uh, presenting some issues okay, uh, that you may face at work. Well, well, you have also this chart, okay, in which you can set, or you, in which you can uh, type different possible problems, okay, at work, okay, and also you can provide a possible solution as you wish. Okay, well, and tonight we have this, okay, I will be able to report a problem using formal language, okay? What is the most common problem with the printers? How often do you use them? Okay, so that's a question that, is a, a, that, that the PDF presents at the beginning. Uh, I don't know if you if you saw the video in, in YouTube about the, about the person reporting a problem and they were very, you know, they were very kind, very polite at the beginning. Si, 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 cuando vean el video, de, que les, el enlace del video que les compartí en YouTube, se van a dar cuenta que la persona que reporta el problema comienza como muy, muy amable, muy, muy, muy polite. Ok, pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, al final como que no es muy, muy amable. Entonces nosotros... Siempre vamos a tratar de ser amables con las personas en inglés y en español, por supuesto. Now, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printing. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yeah, it's a service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, so as you can see, this is the expression, the expression that the, the PDS is introducing or is presenting to, to do what? To report a problem, okay, using formal language and to be polite, okay? So I have two questions over here, or two statements. Uh, I like to report this issue. What is missing on here? I would like to report this issue. Okay. I would or I'd. Oh, I'd. Yeah, contracted, right? I like to report this issue. Now, what about this one? I will. I will. Mm 
What's missing in the number two? Report. I would like to report, but at the end it says fix this. So what what's what's missing over here? Now look at this expression. You have it on here, right? So I would like you to. I would like you to fix this. Me gustaría que arreglara esto. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like you to fix this. Si, si, si no quisiera decirle a alguien, si usted, si usted lo quisiera arreglar, entonces dije, I would like to fix this. Me gustaría arreglar esto. Okay. Pero me gustaría que tú arreglaras esto. I would like you to fix this. Okay. That's why the person, I would like you to come soon to check it. Okay, so that's a different expression. Now, well, this is this is the this these are the links, okay, related to to the to the, to, to reporting uh, a problem. Okay, so and I have this info. Okay, we're gonna see this. Then I will present a, a, a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, and we're gonna see a different way to, to use would. Okay, would like. Because over here, we're using would like to what people? To report, okay? To report a problem, okay? But there is another another way to use it. And, but let us see, how to use would like to? Well, use would like to, to, to say what you want, what you want, especially when making offers and requests, offers and requests. Okay, so need to be clear about it, offer and request. Example, she would like to send this report today. So what is that, an offer or a request? It's offers. She would like to send reports today. It's something she wants, right? It's something she she wants. And she wants. Yeah, something she wants. She would like to send uh, the reports today. Look at this one. He like he'd like to meet the new employees tonight. Okay. Now, these are singular, as you can see, singular, singular. We have plural over here. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Now, what's the, po what's the point over here? The point is that when you have the expression, would like to, no matter if you are using third person singular or third person plural. The expression will remain the same. She would like, they would like to. She would like to, they would like to. He would like to, we would like to. Okay, so this this is not like, like when we were studying present simple, okay? So that's the point. That's one of the points over here. Now, well, I will provide further information. Okay, I will stop sharing this, and I will I will try to to provide some more info. Okay, because there are some other ways to use this. Well, I have this information. Okay, and now in here, you will see that we are not requesting, okay? And we are not uh, offering, right? But we have, for example, hey, it's sunny outside. We have a question, hey, what would you like to do? Okay, 
Now, what's that? Offering or request? What would you like to do? Hey, what would you like to do outside? Hey, I would like to go and play soccer. I would like. Okay, I would like to. Okay, now, what am I doing? I'm changing the, the context. Okay. Si ustedes se fijan, yo lo que quiero que observen es que el contexto va a ir, puede cambiar, ok, so, para usar would you like, no necesariamente lo vamos a ocupar para reportar un problema o, o para justamente los temas que hemos estado estudiando, sino que también lo podemos usar en otros contextos. Hey, would you like to go? Go on a picnic? Go for a stroll. You know, stroll, right? So, also, you can get some 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 extra info. So you know what go go on a picnic is right. Go for a stroll. What is what is go for a stroll? Different way to say go for a stroll. I would like to go on a picnic. I would like to go for a stroll. What what is it? What stroll, people? Paseo. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I would like to go for a walk, right? Oh, I would sad. like to walk the dog. I would like to go for a stroll. So it's different ways to say the same. I would like. Okay, so remember about the expression. Now, we also have, uh, as, as you can see, there are some questions. Hey, would you like to go on a picnic? Yes, I would. I like picnics. That's really fun. Let's go. So you see. Would you like to go on a picnic? Would you like to go for a stroll? No, I couldn't. I don't like strolling. It's my number eight. I don't think it's fun at all. I can't. I have a class this afternoon. So the, the, what is the person doing? Well, the person is um, asking somebody to do something, right? Proposing, right? I would like to go for a stroll. Hey, would you like to play basketball this afternoon? Hey, would you like to go uh, uh, to the cinema? Okay, to, to, to propose something to somebody. Uh, let's stay in. We can't go outside. I would like to do some, something at home. It's raining. It's snowing. Okay. What would you like to do? Hey, what would you like to do? Well, let's do a jigsaw. Puzzle, I really like jigsaw puzzles. We can also do a crossword. Do you like crosswords? Look at this. I'm bored. Let's do something fun. What would you like to do? Offerings, right? To do something. Well, I would like, uh, well, this is a question, right? Hey, would you like to play a board game? Uh, would you like to play chess? Look at this one. What would you like to make? I would like to make popcorn. How about you? I, I'd i like to make a video. How about you? So you see the context is different. Would you like to bake some cookies? Yes, I would. That's really fun. Let's do it now. Uh, then we have, no, I wouldn't like to bake now. I'm sorry, but I'm really tired. I like to take a short nap right now. Let's bake later. Which will Anna like to do? Which activity? Build a snowman or build a Lego house? How about you? Would you like to build a snowman? Well, to say politely what we want, so this is what I, I'm, I'm telling you, right? To be polite. I would like some tea, please. Okay? I would like some tea, please. Okay? Si se fijan, solo lo que cambia es el contexto. En el, en el PDF y en el tema central estamos hablando de pedir ayuda respecto a algún problema que estamos enfrentando en el trabajo, ¿sí? Okay? Pero acá el contexto es diferente. I would like some tea, please. Está en un restaurante. I would like to have a ticket for tomorrow. Maybe the person is at the airport. Would you like to play chess with me? 
I would like some help here. I would like to ask for a second opinion. Would you like to have dinner with us tonight? Uh, do you think she would like to go out with me? Okay, so different context, different expressions, right? To accept yeah. or reject an offer also can be used. We can use would. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, there are some some expressions, right? To accept or to reject. Uh, would you like to go out? Yes. Uh, Alda, would you like to have some some oranges? Yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, would you like to go uh, on a picnic? Yes, I would. I like picnics. Uh, would you like to play basketball? Yes, I would. It's really fun. Etc. Right? So give me a second. Okay. So let's do it. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Thank you. That is great. I do a crossword every day. I like it. I think that's really fun, etc. So, but if you want to reject, you say, no, that's okay. Thank you. Actually, I don't like baking. I would like to do something else. I never take a nap. Yeah. I don't think that's fun at all. We can do that. We can't do that. It's raining outside. I'm sorry, but I can't. I have I'm a class sorry, today. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have the class today. Uh, that's a <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> but let's play it a bit later. Good. Excellent. So now which game would they like to play? Which one would they like to? Okay, so we have different uh, games over here. Lego, um, jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, etc. Okay, so well, I like to express general preferences, right? So remember, I like to express general prefer preferences. Use for situations that have already been experienced. And we have a feeling for, to express your idea, uh, similar to enjoy, meaning and grammar is followed by the Sharon. Okay, so, so like some examples about like, I like snorkeling, we both like our cats, uh, your cats. They like chess, I think puzzles are fun. I don't like writing. I like your new hair. So this is to clarify, right? To 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 clarify. When you say that I like snorkeling or I like pizza, I like this, I like that, me gusta, okay? Pero si, ¿qué tal si le pusiéramos a esto? I like. Ahí ya cambia la expresión, ¿verdad? I like snorkeling, snorkeling. So what is the difference? Si yo lo digo solo así, I like, me gusta, okay? Pero si lo digo con el would, I would like, me gustaría. So that's the difference in Spanish, people. Mm -hmm. And you need to keep it in mind, okay? Now we would like, well, as you saw in the PDF, so we use it, and now you see it over here in the PDF, in the PowerPoint presentation, sorry, you, we use would like to make offers, to make requests, to say politely what we want. Also, we use it to express a desire, ambition, and especially used for first-hand experiences. Uh, you also use it sometimes, it's used for imaginary and unlikely situations. Hey, I would like to win the lottery, right? Me gustaría ganar la lotería. I would like to. Okay, but that's imaginary, right? Relates to the time being, near future, or general future. Similar in meaning and grammar to one. Similar, but not the same. So as you can see, we have some more here. So let, let us try. Let, let's read this example. Hey, would you like to go to the cinema this weekend? This is an offer, right? This is an offer, right? I wouldn't like to play card games now. I wouldn't like to play uh, 
card games now. So also rejecting, right? Okay, an offering. Would he like to be a teacher? Decide. Hey, I would like to be a teacher. I would like to, to speak uh, Russian or, or another language, right? She says she would like to be in an army in the army. I would like to get a, a, a return ticket for tomorrow for life request. So this is what we are studying directly, right? In a restaurant, hey, what would you like to order? I like to order, I'd like to order, or I like to have the pizza for life request. Would you like to be a president one day? Imaginary. Now you see. General future. Hey, would you like to be a president? Hey, would you like to be the president of El Salvador? Uh, would they like to join us for dinner tomorrow? Offering. I would like to buy a pet, but my wife couldn't. Desire. Would you like some biscuits with your tea? Where is this? Offering, right? Uh, to doctor, we both would like to have a second opinion, polite request. I would like to know if we can live, or if we can have a meeting regarding the issue, soon. request, polite request, right? I like Paris, but I wouldn't like to keep one at my home. Okay, that's, that is desire, right? I like soccer, I like soccer, and I would like to become a coach with desire, okay? I have never played golf before, but I would like to try it now. Michael? Sí, profe, este, solo tengo una, una duda. Okay. ¿Cómo saber, cómo saber si es make offer o make request? Okay. Uh... Look at these examples. Uh, look at this example. When you have an offer, you have an offer over here, right? And you have a request over here. Okay, the first, uh, you are using, uh, you are proposing. Cuando, cuando, eso, cuando le está ofreciendo usted algo a alguien, está proponiendo. ¿Qué le está proponiendo acá? Eh, would you like? Sí, le gustaría to go. ir a... To go. Yeah. Would you like to go to the cinema? Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Está pidiendo alguna ayuda? Eh, no. No, es, está... Ir, ¿no? Está proponiendo. Entonces, mm -hmm. Michael, veamos acá. I would like, look at this polite request. I would like what? To get a return ticket for tomorrow. ¿Qué está haciendo acá la persona? ¿Qué está pidiendo la persona? I would like to get a return ticket for tomorrow. Está pidiendo algo, ¿no? Un ticket de retorno para el día de mañana. ¿Ok? ¿Está ofreciendo algo? No. No, está pidiendo algo. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿cuál es la clave, Michael? Identificar el contexto. ¿Ok? okay. Eh, look at this one. Por eso, por eso este, me gustó esta presentación porque trae diferentes contextos. Miren, aquí es un deseo. Ya no es eh, request, offer, no, but in this case, desire. So, I would like to buy a pet. Aquí ya no expresa otra cosa, sino deseo. ¿El qué desea? Comprar una mascota. Okay. Mascota. Yeah. So, you have, you have different ways. Okay. El PDF, okay, está súper porque nos manda directamente a, al tema central que es respecto al, al trabajo. Pero a mí siempre me gusta ampliar un poquito más los temas a modo que eh, las ideas se, se amplíen. Ok. No, yes. no more questions, Michael, or some other people. 
No more questions? No more questions, teacher. No more questions, okay. Pretty good, okay. now. We're gonna try to finish with this. No, no, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do this part. So, we're gonna stop over here. We're gonna go to the PDF and now, yes, time to work. Okay, time to work. Now, according to what we saw in the in the PowerPoint, okay, now, you know, mainly, mainly, and in the conversation, you saw, what is this person doing? Uh, what is this person doing? I would like to report a problem. What is the person doing? We're making offer. Oh, uh, not exactly. I would like to report a problem. The person is asking for help, right? And you have this expression that clarifies the context. I would like you to come soon to check it. What is the person doing? Requesting, okay? So, and that's what we have over here. Is yes, who would like to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests, okay? Now, now we saw the examples over here, okay? Now, uh, we're going to read this. We are in the page number 44. Okay, and we're going to read this part. Okay, so you're going to help me to read. And then you are going to create something, okay? You're going to create something with this info. Okay, now... I don't know. Do you have any question with uh, on how to use would like? No more questions. No more doubts. Hello, hello. Let's see. Tell me, tell me, let's work a little about this part. I need four requests about, about what? A piece of equipment at your workplace that is broken. Can you do me the favor to write down four or five requests about it? Maybe in the chat so that we can complete it over here. Okay, let us use the chat for a while. Let us use the chat, please, people, for a while. I need four or five requests about a piece of equipment at your workplace that's broken. I need four or five requests, requests such as, um, I would like, I would like to, I would like you to check my printer. It's broken. I would like you to uh, help me with the refrigerator. I would like you to uh, fix the car or I don't know, just try to provide five examples, five requests, please people in the chat. I'm checking the chat, so I will I will copy and I will paste it. Five examples. Example number one. Example number one. Request people. I need to see it in the chat. Ayúdenme con cinco ejemplos, okay? In the chat, in the chat, please.
Okay, people. Hello, hello. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, so. Okay, the printer is broken. Okay, what will be the request, Daniel? The request. The request. The printer is broken. Here, okay, so that's a problem, right? So that is a problem. The printer, uh, the printer head, el cabezal del impresor. The printer's head, head. Head is broken. Head is broken. Okay. So what would what would you request? Como pediría ayuda? Okay. Would you like to uh, check my printer, please? Would you like to check it, please? I really like this expression because you included the word please. Thank you, Daniel. Any other example? Uh, the mouse. I have problems with the mouse. Okay, that's another one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Number two. Hey, it happens to me <laughs> regularly. I have problems with my mouse. I have problems with with my mouse. My mouse. Uh-huh. How would you uh, ask for help? Um, would you like buy another mouse? <laughs> <laughs> would you like? Uh, so, but that is... De acuerdo a la presentación que vimos, que, ¿de qué manera lo estamos usando? Un deseo, ¿no? Un Would deseo. you like to buy a new one for me? Oh, a new one. ¿Te gustaría comprarme uno nuevo? Ok, good. <laughs> ok. Number three. Number three. Let me see. So in the chat, I don't see more examples in the chat, but let us try to complete the, the five examples here. Okay, Aidan said, hey, you know what? I have problem with my phone. I have problems with my phone. Okay, so what would be, how would you ask for, for help, Aidan?
I have problems in my phone. Would you like help me on oh, my phone, please? Would you like to remember to to help me with it? Okay, good. So, would you like to repair? So, in, in, instead of saying help, you can say repair. Hey, would you like to repair it for me? Would you like to repair? To repair. For me, so that's a different one, right? Okay, what about number number four? Okay, let's try let's try to go quickly. Number four. So let's work with. Okay, Daniel, say hey, I have a problem with my keyboard. Would you like to clean it? To clean it? Okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, I have a problem with my keyboard. Would like to clean it. Okay. Excellent. So I think I think we're gonna we're gonna finish with 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 these exercises, right? So now you got the idea, okay? That's what really matters to me. That was number four, right? So well. Do me the favor to complete the exercises in your PDF, okay? So, can we continue? Can we continue, people? So, we're going to continue, okay? I will delete this part. Okay. So, well, I hope you have it clear, right? That we just would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. And we also learned that we can use it to talk about uh, desires, right? Desires. Ese es el que no está aquí. So, listen to what we have here. It happens that we have a reading, and the reading is about the uh, printer qualities and answer the questions below. So we're gonna read and we're going to answer some questions. Later, I will let you know what to do, okay? Oh, Belen is driving, he's getting back home. Okay, Belen, be careful, please. Okay, Edgar, Edgar. Edgar will, will start, uh, it's over here as a listener also. Well. We have the following information. Now, do me the favor to get concentrated because we're gonna talk about uh, the color, resolution, uh, speed, memory, and that's it, right? So that's the only information we have. Okay, color. Who wants to help me to read this part? Anybody color. in the group, please. Color is important to use when you Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Okay, I think you can read that better, right? Yeah, there. Okay, Jonathan, I think you started, right? Uh, okay. Um, color is important. Uh, color, color, right? color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page. Where's where color is part of information the information color printers can printers or printers printers Pr right? printers printers can also be said to print only in black and white color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two 
ink cartridge. Esa es la palabra science. Ink cartridge. Cartridge. Cartridges. Cartridges. Ah. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. User who don't don't have a specific 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 need for color and who prints print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, people, everybody, now, l let me know, please, how do you pronounce this word? Users. Users, sure. right. So don't forget about the, the yes, okay? What about this one? Page. Page. Peaches. Oh, Peaches. Okay, you need, remember, you need to pronounce the, the, the yes, right? What about, uh, well, we have the same one here. Yeah. Yes. It, it's okay. What about this one? Um, scenes. 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 Yeah, it's scenes. because if you scenes. say science, science, yeah, it's otra cosa. Science. Uh, say science. Yeah. 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 So, but this one is scenes. Things. Okay. Yeah. This word? Replaced. Replaced. Excellent. Replaced. This Replace. one? Replaced. Replaced. Certain. 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 Okay. Certain. Keep it keep it in mind and practice it a lot. What about this one? Specific. 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 A lot of pages. A lot of pages, right? A lot of up. A lot of. A lot of pages. A lot of. A lot of pages. Cheaper. Cheaper. Now. <laughs> Cheaper, 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 cheaper. No, cheap. Basically, if you say cheap, cheaper, this is another word, right? So, mm. Yeah, but cheaper, 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 so, cheaper. 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 Yeah. So later you're going to read it. It's oveja, verdad? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. So. Eh, later you're gonna read it again, ok? Después de hacer las observaciones, lo vamos a volver a leer de corrido y yo solo me voy a fijar. Ya no voy a corregir, pero solo me voy a fijar en cómo ustedes ponen en práctica lo que vemos acá. Ok, second volunteer. Second volunteer. Printer. Printing resolution. The sharpness of the next and the image march, march of paper is usually measure in don dots per inch. The PE must inexpensive printer provide provide sufficient resolution for most poor. Versus at six six hundred PD. Okay, thank you, Michael. So, how do you pronounce this word? Mages. <laughs> now, if if you're not if you if you still doubt about it, you can go in and look for the word in in the internet. Okay. Images, right? Okay. This one? Images. Images. Measure. 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 This one? Dots. Dots. DPI. Remember, remember, don't get confused with the letters, okay? DPI. 
This one? DPI. DPI. Yeah, the DPI. This one? Sufficient. 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 This one? Purposes. Purposes, Purposes. and DPI. Purposes. Right. So Purposes. keep it Purposes. in mind, okay? Keep keep the observations in mind because we're gonna learn we're gonna read it a, a second time. What about the next one, people? The speed. If you if you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three or two six sheets per minute. Color printing is lower. More expensive printer are much faster. All right, pretty good, great pronunciation. So just remember that you need to start by by, by uh, using the E sound. Speed, 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 speed. speed. okay? Speed. And the last one, the last one. Awesome. Printer comes with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can by paint be the user having more than the minim minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pa pa pages with large images or tables with lines around them which the pr printer treats as a large image. Okay, very good. How do you pronounce this word? Printers. Printers, printers. Printers, printers. What about this one? B? Yes. Expanded. 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 By? 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 Images. 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 Which? Which? Because wish. if you if you wish. say wish, you know that's different, right? Wish, which, wish, which. Okay, wish. so you need to make emphasis on that. Okay, so wish. let's see in a very quick way, people. Vamos a leerlo de nuevo. Okay, así rapidito. Oops, sorry. Rapidito para este eh, movernos a la siguiente actividad. Okay, so can somebody help me? Y ahora no voy a corregir, ok, solo, solo necesito visualizar eh, con, cómo, cómo lo, lo, lo leen ahorita, ok. Si quieren las mismas personas, si no otras personas, está bien, como lo deseen. Ok, first one, please. Hello, hello. Color. Color is important for user who need to print pages for present presentation for math and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white color. Pages. Pages. Printers are more expensive to operate since they use two inks cartridge, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages user who don't have a specific need for color and who prints a lot of Watches will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. 
Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Anybody else? Anybody else in the group? The shortest. That's right. That's Printer res resolution, the sharpness of, of test in images on paper in usually miniatures in in that per inch DPI ma most intensive printer provide sufficient resolution for mass for most Mm -hmm. Four pushes don't, 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 at 600 DPI. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Speed. Okay. Anybody else? Hi, teacher. Thank you. If too much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. In expensive printers, print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is lower. More expensive printers are you much faster. Excellent. And the last part. The last part. Most printers come with a small amount, okay? Oh, memory. memory. Thank you, most, Daniel. Go ahead. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printed out pages with large images or tables with line around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Images. Image. 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 Right? image. Now, image. okay, people. Now, we're going to go over the questions. And we have the first one that says, hey, why is color important for some users? And we go to the part that says color, right? Now, tell me why color is important for some users. Black and white ink. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps. Excellent. Very good. So that would be uh, the answer, right? Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps. Good. Now, question number two. What does DPI stand for? DPI. What, what does DPI stand for? If you want, you can look for it in the in the web. DPI, the sharpness of text and Im image on paper. Can you can you uh, copy the information and paste it in the chat, please, uh, Daniel? Where is DPI?
Okay, Daniel uh, got it over here. The DPI, so if you didn't get it, well, you have it over there in the chat, right? DPI, yeah, that's right, Maribel. Is the sharpness of text and images on paper, right? That's a DPI. Now, why are color printer more expensive? Why? Where do we get that info? I think in the first part, right? Okay, what is the answer? Color printer are more expensive to operate signs. Seems? Seems. Seems. There are used two inks, cartridge, one color and one black ink. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Mm. Good. Excellent. And let me see. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? For example, one megabyte. Ah, then you're megabyte. talking about memory, right? Yeah, look at the question. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Something important that you, that you can see over mm -hmm. here. Color is... Um... <laughs> well, something that's important for someone who uh, prints a lot needs to take into consideration everything, right? I mean, the resolution, the color, right? So if you need to have it in color, okay? And, and mm. of course, if you are going to print a lot of pages, what's cheaper or what's, um, uh, uh, um, what is the, what is more convenient? Black and white or in color? Well, it's up to you, right? So what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Most printers come with a small amount of memory. Uh, For example, one megabyte. One, one For megabyte. For example, one megabyte. For example, one megabyte. Yeah, that's right. So, small amount of memory. Good. That's quite good. Okay, so this is for tomorrow. So, we're going to work. Let me see. My goodness. Well, there are some complaints, right? So you know complaints. Do you ever complain about the 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 broken items at your workplace? Do you ever fill complaint forms? 
Okay, and we have one, another conversation over here, right? So we're gonna we're gonna see the information, okay? And uh, for example, we have Mike and Maria, and Mike said, thank you for calling to IT department. Maria said, hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my word terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that, please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in time. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, there are some expressions that, uh, that might be used to show solution in progress. So how did Mike provide solution? in the conversation. The lady complains, right? So the lady wants uh, what? Or oh, she needs a file to complain, right? But what was the way he he uh, solved the problem? It was very slow. Uh, she's complaining there, right? So it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn down today. So what is the way uh, uh, my uh, solve the problem? What did he uh, say? New computers. Okay, hey, let me send someone with a complaint form. That's a fair, right? And then we can send the new computer with in, in no time, okay? So immediately. Now, what seems to be the problem with the computer? What was the com what was the problem with the computer? It was pretty slow yesterday. And yesterday it, was okay. Today. Yesterday was very slow, right? It was very slow. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're, this is the last part we're gonna work on okay and uh, well you know you have one one homework right what is the homework people well i think uh, i think we're gonna work on it now okay because you can do this later you can do this later okay but uh, I don't know if tomorrow is going. To, you're going to have enough time to work in the in the period, okay? But well, you you can do this later. This is going to be like faster. Esta parte aquí la van la pueden completar un poquito más rápido, pero eh, quiero que por favor escuchen y vean el video que les compartí en en WhatsApp y empiecen a trabajar en el script. Ahorita, por favor, no no le vayan a poner el 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 title. Solo ven escribiendo lo que ustedes comprenden, ¿ok? Primera vez que lo vean. Segunda vez, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí sí ya... Bueno, la primera vez es solo escuchar. La segunda vez es escribir lo que ustedes comprenden. Y la tercera es uh, ponerle el, 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 el subtítulo en inglés, ¿ok? Y empezar a copiar lo que ahí dice y practicar lo que es lo más importante, ¿ok? Así que ahorita tenemos 5, 10, 15 minutos para trabajar en ello. Pero antes de ir a eso, veamos esto, por favor. Miren qué lento está mi internet. Ojalá que se resuelva esto rápido. Ok, so now yes, ahora sí lo vamos a completar, lo vamos a chequear. Now, for example, choose the correct structure. Now, number one, which one did you mention? Read it, please. Hello, hello. What is the best, what is the correct uh, sentence? She like to drinking, she like to drink, or she li she like to drinking coffee? She like to drink coffee. Aha, uh -huh. what is that? Offering request or desire? Desire. Desire. Number two. Yeah. 
I like to report a problem. I like to report a problem. What is that? Offer, request, or desire? Desire. Um, desire. I like to report the problem. I think it's the person is requesting for some help, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like to report a problem. Number three. What is the correct sentence? They would like, they to, would like to join us. They would like to join us. What is it? Desire, no. offer, or request. Request. Um, desire? Desire, right? They would like to uh, join us. Okay, number four. Would you like to go? Hey, would you would like you to go? go? Would you would like you, to go? Would you like to go? What's that? Offers. That's a that's the, the person Offers. is offering, right? Somebody to go offering. somewhere. Yeah, and the last one. They would like to speak to the supervisor. They would like to speak to the supervisor. What is that? Offer, request, or decide? Request. That's a request, right? So the person is asking for or to talk to the supervisor. We're going to see. Request. We're going to see if we did it. Okay, so I hope that you, you, you work in the platform. Okay, don't forget about it. Okay, we got a 10 over here, right? Good. Number two is all right. Number three is okay. Number four and number five. Good. Great job. So do me the favor to go and see the see the video. Háganme el favor de, de ir y visualizar el video que les compartí. Eh, voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? Mientras ustedes hacen eso. Con roses. Eh, Si ¿Sí, ya todos tienen acceso a, al enlace. Si no, se lo vuelvo a compartir. Okay. Eh, excuse me, teacher. Eh, lo envío sí. al WhatsApp. Sí, está en WhatsApp, pero igual se lo voy a compartir, a compartir acá de nuevo. Ok. Thank ok, you. there you are, eh, Jonathan. Para el día de mañana, ok, si pueden cambiarle el final a la conversación estaría perfecto, ok. El que pueda. El que no, pues solo lo practica porque sí lo, van, lo, vamos, a, lo vamos a escuchar mañana, como, como ustedes lo, lo estuvieron practicando. Ok, Aidan. Gracias, teacher. Ok, Belén. Claudia. Hi, teacher. Hi, Claudia. Eh, Daniel. Present teacher. Okay. Maribel. 
Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. me equivoqué, escuché tan por ahí, pero bueno. That's all right, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, Gladys. Present teacher. Yeah. Jonathan, no, yes, Jonathan. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. María Elba. Present teacher. Excellent. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Hi, teacher. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Michael. Yes, teacher. Okay, Aníbal. Present teacher. Excellent. No puedo estar mucho en la clase porque tú, tú, tengo ahí un fracaso. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Antonio. Present. Okay. Ronan. Teresa. En Veraliz. Hey, so Veraliz, very early. She's not over here. I don't remember if she was here. Okay. Now. Pretty good. Now, did you see the video? Now, watch the video, please. Watch the video. We have like um, five minutes more. Then we're gonna we're gonna see some. We're gonna share some some info. Okay. See the video, okay. At least get the idea about what the, what is the conversation all about, investigate some vocabulary, maybe. Okay. But tomorrow you need to get the, the whole conversation in your laptop or in a in a in a notebook. Okay, para el día de mañana necesito que tengan esa conversación reflejada en un documento Word. O, o en su poder, ok. Uh, well, I will check. Meanwhile, you do that. I will check the the activities in the platform. Si hay alguien que todavía está pendiente con actividades de la tercera semana, por favor, complétenlas. Y eh, ya estamos a la cintura de la última semana y también es necesario que completen las actividades de la última semana. Recuérdense que tienen pendiente el final test y tienen pendiente pues las actividades que estamos desarrollando acá. Uh, I will check. Voy a chequear ahorita la plataforma a ver cómo estamos con respecto a la tercera y cuarta semana. Pretty good. Hey, people, congrats. 
primera, segunda y tercera semana estamos completitos, ¿ok? Cuarta semana hay algunos que ya terminaron los ejercicios, ¿ok? Pero este, todavía hay tiempo, ¿ok? Para terminar la cuarta semana. Y el final test, sumamente importante. Now, uh, well, I have, I don't know, did you, did you see the video, people? Yo no, teacher, no lo puedo ver. No, you cannot see, Maria? Okay, you can see it later, don't worry. Okay, you can see it later. Okay, so uh, for tomorrow we have a uh, homework assignments, right? So which are the homework assignments, people? Well, I can see that you're still uh, seeing the video. Okay, finish, finish, uh, finish. The, uh, I mean, see the video then, and then we're going to spend like five minutes talking about how to close the curse. Okay, because on Monday we're going to have our our final uh, class. Okay, take two minutes more. Okay, just to finish. Okay, I think you already finished, right? Now, did you identify some 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 uh, expressions that we have been studying lately? Identificaron algunas frases de las que hemos estado estudiando en esa conversación? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Which one, Michael? Uh... The field say, well, good evening. Thank you for calling electronic yeah. support. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. uh, too long for uh, after uh, for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, wait for 
five seconds. Uh -huh. Okay, I wait, wait. Yeah. okay. So, but tomorrow, <laughs> you know, tomorrow you need to get the whole conversation, right? Mañana sí, right. Ten, deben de tener toda la conversación, okay? okay? Okay, now, listen, listen carefully, just just because uh, we need to finish, right? So, um, esta semana prácticamente, este, el lunes terminamos con el nivel básico 2, okay? Están próximos a, a moverse a otro nivel, okay? Ya van a otro nivel. Espero que este que ustedes mismos noten los avances que están teniendo y que siempre los pongan en práctica. Y que además de que pongan en práctica lo que estamos aprendiendo directamente en inglés, también pongan en práctica las técnicas okay, de estudio. Okay. Um, para el día lunes que vamos a cerrar, Quiero que todos preparen un pequeño eh, speech, ¿ok? Respecto a, al curso en sí, de manera general, ¿ok? Eh, de lo que hemos vivenciado durante este mes, lo que han aprendido, los consejos que le pudieran dar sus compañeros, todo en inglés, ¿ok? Ustedes me dirán cuántos minutos, porque yo quiero que todos participen, ¿ok? Si no todos, pues la mayoría. Okay. 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 Three minutes speech. Un, un, una presentación de tres minutos. Es solo hablar, ¿ok? Necesito que ese día eh, se preparen eh, con, con un pequeño speech. Una presentación pequeña de tres minutos. Yo creo que con tres minutos estaría bien. Ok, respecto a sus valoraciones del curso, cómo lo vivenciaron, qué aprendieron, qué es lo que van a seguir poniendo en práctica. Me interesa mucho saber qué es lo que van a seguir haciendo después que terminen en este curso. Porque, bueno, hoy tuve la suerte de encontrarme con algunos de ustedes nuevamente, eh, porque sí fue de, 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 de mucha suerte y de mucha alegría, pero... No siempre sucede, resulta que casi siempre cambian los grupos y, y ya ustedes pues van a tener eh, otro profesor, otro docente y este es necesario que, que pues yo, yo quiero ver su desempeño eh, en el speaking al final de, de, del curso, que ¿okay? ese es el, el objetivo para día lunes, ¿ok? No sé si hay preguntas, observaciones, comentarios... Recuérdense las oh. tareas, ok, las tareas, seguir practicando, ok, tienen los enlaces. Mañana, pues, necesito ver esa conversación eh, escrita o digitada. Y este, y recuérdense que siempre al inicio, ustedes nos sorprenden con una frase que se, que se aprendieron durante el día, ok. Uh -huh. Ayer eh, Daniel se aprendió time after time. Tenía Bye. mucho tiempo, <risa> tenía mucho tiempo de, de escuchar esa canción y eh, hoy descubre que es que significa time after time, ¿ok? Cabal. Así que mañana pues los espero como siempre. Eh, trabajen en la plataforma por favor para que cerremos de la mejor manera. En realidad estoy muy satisfecho con su desempeño respecto a, a, a los horarios. Uh, la hora de entrada, los minutos que hacen acá y este, las actividades en sí, llevamos un buen récord. Sí, le voy a decir que estoy muy satisfecho con su trabajo. Eh, Michael. Yo estoy bien. Ajá. ¿Iba a decir algo? Ah, no, aquí viendo unas palabras que, bueno, ahora en la tarde las busqué porque no las sabía. Ajá. Ok. So let us see tomorrow, people. Okay, let's see tomorrow and let us continue studying English. Okay, have a good night okay. and let us see tomorrow. Good, good, night. good night. Thank good night. you. Good night. Good night. God night. bless you. <laughs> God bless you, my friend. <laughs> Sweet dream, man. Sweet dream. Thank you. Jonathan. Hey. <laughs>
Listen, <laughs> listen, listen music, all black. <laughs> Heavy metal, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you. Some one day. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs>